And sometimes it's hard to want to do like all this small business stuff. Hi friends, and welcome to the first pop-up shop vlog of 2023. I am beyond excited to finally get back into pop-up shops. If you've been following me for a while, you know that in the winters I take a break from doing pop-up shops, mainly because it's super cold out, and I had a few like negative experiences last year just being out in the cold and just like not having a good time selling. There are definitely less people out and willing to go to festivals and markets in the winters, so I just save all of my energy for the spring and summer pop-up shop season. My first one is in three weeks i'm so 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 excited <laughs> to be doing another pop-up very grateful that these markets will have me back as well as like some new markets that accepted me so i'm really excited about that the first one i'm doing is on april 23rd it's a earth day themed pop-up shop which is like so in line with everything my brand stands for and then i think a week after that i have the hoboken arts and music festival which as you all know, is my favorite festival to participate in. They're both super big markets. I've never done the Earth Day one before, so I don't really know what to expect, but the Arts and Music Festival one I've done a few times, so I know to expect a big crowd. Either way, I'm just really, really excited <laughs> to start making some inventory and to start like bulk creating a whole bunch of things. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of items that I've already had on my shop for a while. I'm also going to be making some new items that I've never made before. I'm going to have some pop-up shop like specific items that you can't get anywhere else except for at these pop-ups. And yeah, I'm going to show you my process. Um, I do have a how to pop-up series that I posted last year or like throughout all of last year. If you want to know a lot of the details about like how I put together my markets and like my little pop-up situation i am thinking of recreating that how-to series just because i feel like i have more information now i feel like i have more experience and a few things to add to that series so let me know if you would like to see that so yeah if you don't know about my shop it's called monica's collective and i go by monica's shorthand i make candles original apparel um earrings scrunchies and other like accessories tote bags i put custom vinyl on little mugs i also make custom vinyl decals for your mirrors a whole bunch of things and i'm usually a made to order shop so i don't typically have too much inventory just sitting around ready to be shipped once i get an order i'll go ahead and make the order and then ship it off once it's ready. So doing pop shops is really different for me because I have to bulk make a whole lot of inventory that I don't normally have stocked up um, in my shelves. And this also goes to show that you don't have to be the kind of business that has a bunch of inventory ready to go in order to do pop shops. You just have to plan accordingly and dedicate a good amount of time to making however many products you think you'll sell. So starting with candles, let me give you a rundown of all the different candles I'm trying to make for the upcoming two pop-up shops and then we'll get started all right so i store my candle vessels just like all around my room <laughs> but a good amount of them are here these are the oldest vessels i've had um meaning that i've just like had this vessel <laughs> itself since 2020 i believe or 2021 so i'm going to prioritize trying to get these off the shelves because i've kind of like changed up my vibe on my shop so i'm trying to like get through all of these vessels so I can start using my newer vessels. Same with the ones back here. These are from a holiday collection, um, just from last year, but I'm ready to sell all of them. <laughs> I apologize for how messy my room is. I should really do like a spring cleaning of my brand and my small business, my crafting room. Um, that's like a good idea maybe i'll do that soon so these are all my new vessels the newer ones i'm trying to stick to the whole like neutral theme of the vessels and then put colorful labels on them kind of like this one so those i might make a few of um i do want to prioritize like getting rid of the older vessels so we'll see if i end up using those down here i have a bunch that are either tester candles or um, they need to be perfected or they're just like not part of the season anymore. So I have like pumpkin spice right here that is like more for the fall. So I'm just going to keep that until next fall. And then down here, I actually have pre-made candles. So these are all done. They just didn't sell at previous pop-ups. These are pop-up specific candles. I'd never posted them on my website because I want like pop-up shop goers to have like a unique experience and want them to get something out of it 
more than, you know, just like going on my shop um, online. So yeah, I select a few products to just sell at my pop-ups, kind of like these candles. These are available on my shop, but they haven't sold like that much. They're the bubble candles. So I'm going to try to also sell a bunch of those. That's basically it in terms of the candle vessels that I'm trying to use. I'm going to go through my fragrances and see what I have left um, and see how they match up with my vessels. I think I'm aiming to make around 40 candles. I think that sounds like a good amount, depending on the size. Like for the smaller ones, I might make a little bit more. Um, but altogether, I think I'll try to aim for between like 40 to 60, maybe. Um, I have a good feeling about these pop-ups, so I'm hoping I sell out again. But yeah, obviously, if you've been following me for a while, you know that sometimes I sell out and have a really good pop-up. Sometimes I sell literally nothing and have a, like, quote-unquote unsuccessful pop-up. But no matter what, it's still a fun experience for me because I get to meet you all and I get to see people's actual reactions to my products. People give me so many good ideas for new products to make. I love just like experiencing the whole pop-up and then giving you all advice on how to make your pop-ups better. So no matter how these end up turning out, I'm going into the whole experience with a positive mindset, I'm being optimistic because no matter what, we're gonna get something out of this. If you're doing a pop-up for the first time or for the hundredth time, um, you should just enjoy the process because that's what it's all about. But I do hope you sell out because it's such a great feeling. Okay, let's get the candle making station set up and let's just go and make a whole bunch of candles. Alright guys, here is the initial setup. I have all of the vessels lined up that I plan on using or at least making um, candles out of today. Um, I don't want to lay out any more than this just because I don't want them to get dusty and I think this is all I'll have time for today. And then along the row where all the vessels are, I have the fragrance that I'm going to use for um, those vessels. So this one's black amber and lavender. I'm going to make them in these little makesy tins. They're also very lightweight. They remind me of spring just because of the light colors. Everything here is very like pastel except for like that hot pink over there. Um, this I feel like looks more like summer, which is why I'm making them because summer is fast approaching. So yeah, these ones in the little plastics are the black and cream ones that I recently got. They're the new size. I think it's like eight and a half ounces. Um, I love these. I think they look so classic. So yeah, I'm going to make these. Actually, this one, <laughs> this is Peppermint Mocha. It's for um, an order that I got on my online shop, so I'm going to make those two first, just so I can get my orders all packaged up. And then I'll make all my other pop-up candles. I'm so excited.
I was making candles, I thought I would talk to you all. Um, I usually don't talk while I'm like crafting because I like to stay focused, but let's try something new. I've been loving my wax warmer from Makesy. I got it a few vlogs ago, I think, um, earlier this year, and I love it. It makes things a whole lot cleaner, simpler, and I think this whole process happens a little faster. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, I haven't actually like timed it out or anything. Um, that is compared to the double boiler method in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, I really love the way it looks and so far it's been like, it's been doing well. I go through phases of being really motivated to make candles and make new products and post things on my website. And then phases of just like not wanting to do any of this anymore, low key. Um, I just got engaged, as you all probably saw in uh, one of my recent vlogs, and so I'm like really caught up in doing DIYs and planning for that. I have like an engagement party coming up, I want to prep for like other bridal related things. I have a whole bunch of like YouTube videos planned um, related to bridal prepping, and like I just feel really motivated in that sense, and then just like my personal life in general. So then sometimes it's hard to want to do like all this small business stuff, especially since I've been grinding and doing it for the past four years now. Four years. Wow. Um, and obviously my audience and like all of you have come from my small business. So I don't want to like let people down by not doing this anymore. And I also go through phases of like really loving doing this. Like right now, I'm just like so excited to be making all these things. So I'm kind of torn because I want to like, I want to give it my all no matter what I choose. Currently using the Tropicana and Tea Rose and Papyrus scent from Makesy. This is one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to use this with like the hot pink vessels. I always calculate out how much fragrance to use by calculating 10% of the vessel um, capacity. So the vessels I'm filling up right now are nine ounce capacities. So um, I'll put 8.1 ounces of wax and 0.9 ounces of fragrance in one vessel. But because I'm making multiple candles at a time, I have to like calculate out exactly how much fragrance to pour, how much wax to pour. So right now I'm just making two last Tropicana Tea Rose and Papyrus candles so 8.1 times 2 is 16.2 ounces of candle wax so i'll take note of that and then i'm pouring the fra fragrance right now so that's 0.9 times 2 which is like 1.8 that was like easy math so i just have my scale down here and my fragrance so i'm going to pour out 1.8 ounces of this Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side. Now I'm going to check the temperature of the wax. I always wait until it gets to 185 or around there, like between 185 and 190 degrees Fahrenheit because I find that's the perfect temperature to mix in the fragrance and have the fragrance throw, um, the hot and cold throw be really good. So I wait until that temperature. I have my wax warmer set at like 198 degrees just so I get it to heat up a little faster and now I just wait. Making candles always makes me really hot because I have the wax warmer here and I don't know it's just like a hot process. Also my nose eventually like starts feeling a little weird because I'm just smelling a whole lot of different scents. I don't know if this is like bad for me. Probably isn't the best but I justify it in that I don't make candles every day. Hopefully it's all good. Signing up to an organization that's my controversy.
Good morning guys, it's the next day. I let my candles sit overnight and now I'm perfecting them with my hair dryer because I don't have a heat gun yet. I know that's probably something I should have by now, being that I've been making candles for the past three or four years, but hair dryer works fine. I'm trimming off the tops of the wicks that are too long and I'm letting them continue to set um, on my desk. I'm moving everything over from like my glass table to my desk because the glass table gets really sunny during the day and I don't want the candles to be in the sun and start like melting. I also need to reprint some labels. I've never made some of these fragrances in these size vessels before so that means I don't have properly sized labels for these vessels yet. So I'm going to go on my computer, resize some labels, print them out, use my Cricut to cut them out and put them on the vessels and then these will be done. Last night I got through most of the ones that I had set up but there are a couple fragrances that I didn't get through, so I'm going to do that today. I also want to get started on some scrunchies because I'm so excited <laughs> to finally be making scrunchies again. I do have a few left over from last year's pop-up shop season, um, so I need to go through everything in that closet, which um, has my bins full of pop-up shop inventory and materials. I'm going to go through those bins, see what I have in there. It's going to be kind of interesting because I don't really remember <laughs> what I put in there last year. Um, I actually went through one bin already and it was like chaos. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go through the last two bins with you all and just show you like what I have left over and also what I'm going to start packing up already just in preparation for my pop-up in a couple weeks. So exciting. <laughs> Um, look at how good these look. I always forget how cute all these candles look like when I have them done in bulk because I normally just like make one and I don't see them like next to each other. I made these for the first time um, in this container. These are from my latest collection. These are from an old collection that was just for pop-up shops but again I'm using this vessel for the first time for that fragrance. Same with the one back here, the matcha one. But I think it looks really cute. Actually, low-key, <laughs> all of these fragrances are in new vessels because I realized that these, the Lime Sangria and Guava Blossoms and the Tropicana ones, those were typically in the bigger Aura vessels that I have with like the wooden tops. Um, but I put them in these like tins because again, I'm trying to use the tins up and I think they look so cute. So yesterday I made 20 candles, which was a good amount, but um, I definitely want to make more. However, today's like pretty warm and I just like am not in the candle making mood because the wax warmer is going to heat up the room even more and I don't know, I want to try something new today. So I'm going to go through my bins. I normally use three bins to hold all of my pop-up shop things that I just like carry or use my wagon to bring over to the pop-up shop locations. So I'm going to go through a few of the bins and just like see what I have in there to just know what kind of inventory I already have done and then based on the amount of scrunchies that I find I'm probably going to need to make more I'm almost certain I'll need to make more so let's go through 
the bins together. Okay, so I have three bins. They all look like this. They're all from Target, I believe, or potentially Walmart. I'm pretty sure it's Target though. Um, let's see what I got in here. Garment bags. I would sell like original apparel, um, which I don't think I'm going to be doing too much of anymore, but I'll still keep these garment bags just in case. I just might not bring them to pop-ups anymore, so I'm going to keep these like on the side. And then I just have like part of the um, like canopy tent. I think this is like one of the walls or maybe all of the walls. Yeah, that's all I had in the first bin. Second one, I have actual pop-up shop things. This is the um, like tablecloth that I use, the table cover, and I love it. It fits so snugly onto, I think it's like a six foot table, but there are a bunch of different sizes. Got this on Amazon. The color pink is so pretty. It goes well with all my stuff, um, but I'll like link everything below. It's always also on my Amazon storefront, so you can always check there. My last pop-up that I did at the end of last year was like kind of chaotic when I was packing up, so everything's just like thrown into here. So it's going to be a bit disorganized, but I found a bunch of scrunchies. I have all these. I mean, this isn't a lot, but at least it's something. And I found a bunch of tote bags. Um, again, this isn't that much, but I'm going to fold these up, just make them look prettier and pack them up a little nicer. In here, I have my little display for decals and stickers. I always disassemble it just so it saves some space. This is just the Amazon box it came in. I'll link this below as well. It's actually just a sunglasses. Um, like display but i use it as a sticker display this is my favorite lazy susan oh it's so cute but i actually decided i'm not gonna be doing earrings anymore because um that's just not something i want to focus on anymore so i might be selling this or maybe i'll hang on to it like just in case i end up like deciding to sell them again a bunch of earring boxes again which like i don't really need anymore if i'm not going to be selling earrings anymore envelopes for my decals and stickers of course i have my shopping bags these are the smaller ones, these are the slightly bigger ones. I have ones even larger than this, but I didn't really like them that much because um, the handles weren't that strong, so I kind of just used these. These are the pegs that go along with my scrunchie pegboard, which I made on my own. You can watch a previous vlog to see how I did that, um, but these are definitely still coming with me because I love my scrunchie pegboard. These are really small um, hooks that I use to hang my tote bags on my garment rack. Love these, also Amazon. Just a little bit of um, packing paper, or this is um, like tissue paper. And some rope to hold my um, banner up. At the bottom one, I have my spin the wheel, more tote bags, more shopping bags, and some old candles in there. Also, this is my sign with prices on it. I wanna revamp this because this is kind of ratchet looking and it's all like bent and it's just like a piece of paper. So I kinda wanna make a more sturdy display. Um, I also change up my prices a good amount, so I want to have the most updated prices on here. It's a little bit later, and I just went through my bag of stuff of just like unfinished projects. So I normally keep everything in this one bag um, that I have just like not had the time to finish up. Or sometimes I like cut out a lot of scrunchies and I don't get a chance to actually make them, but I don't want to like leave the scrunchie pieces of fabric everywhere. So this is what I got. So these are all tote bag bits <laughs> that aren't put together, but they're all cut out. And sometimes like I just leave the little straps unturned. Um, I need to like serge certain pieces. Um, I have unfinished scrunchies. Like this doesn't have the Monica's tag on the side. So that means it has a hole in it somewhere, like right over here somewhere. And then these are all just strips of fabric that I cut out for scrunchies. Um, and I haven't actually made them yet. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use all these because these aren't really like spring or summer colors like this one kind of is. Um, and I have a light blue one in here somewhere and like this white satin could be nice. These are more summery and spring-like so I'm definitely going to make all these. So for the scrunchies I think I'll make like the few that look spring-ish and I'll look through my fabric bins which are those rattan bins over there. And I'll just try to find some spring fabrics. If not, I might need to go to the thrift store and get some secondhand fabric. Or I'll get like actual sustainable like fabric from Mood or um, a Thrifty Notion or something like that.
Guys, my room is in shambles, um, as always when I'm prepping for a pop-up. So, like, there's a lot of stuff down here and down here. I have, like, stray fabric around and my desk is devastating. But hello, it is a couple days later. Yesterday, I went to the office, so I didn't have time to work on pop-up stuff yesterday. But today, I'm getting back into it. Um, don't mind the way I look. I got attacked by a mosquito the other night, so that's what this is. I'm going to continue on some scrunchies and then probably start thinking about a new product that I haven't told you guys about yet, um, but I'm really excited about it. Of the day it's still wednesday um but i finished up a whole bunch of scrunchies a whole bunch of scrunchies it's crazy how slow i was making scrunchies and now i'm like pretty quick so i made a whole bunch now i'm just going to put my tags on them um i just made these on um adobe illustrator you can make these on microsoft word as well or canva and i'm going to cut them into like long strips and also cut a little off the end because this paper is a little too long for the tags that like I want and I just use this little regular paper cutter it's from Amazon and I use my mini stapler to attach them to the scrunchies I don't actually staple the scrunchies I just staple the paper to itself you'll see but I thought I would talk with you because I just posted that I am going to be doing pop-ups uh, starting this month and people are like like really excited for the pop-up shop content which makes me really excited about all this pop-up shop content however um low-key i'm pretty stressed because i have a lot of things going on um more so than last year and the year before when i would do pop-ups in previous years i wasn't really going into the office so i didn't have that much like nine to five stress of like needing to commute to the office needing to like turn on my social battery for eight plus hours of the day um and then still getting home and needing to like work on this kind of stuff i wasn't wedding planning obviously because if you didn't watch one of my recent vlogs i got engaged and as exciting as that is that does mean that's one extra like really big project for me to work on especially since i want to pretty much diy almost everything <laughs> So that's like a lot of work on my part, which I am fully responsible for. I could totally not do any of this and just like pay other people to do it. Um, although I don't even know if that's in my budget. I'm prepping for a bunch of pop-ups, planning a wedding, going into work pretty much most of the week. So I just feel like there's a lot more on my mind. So as I'm trying to put out pop-up shop content and inspire you all to, you know, do pop-up shops and prep for them and things like that i'm also a low-key stressing myself out um which is all my doing and i can manage it totally <laughs> and i really just want to be making products that i'm proud of and really excited about um i want to continue making for a while so that's like what i'm trying to focus on with these pop-up shops trying to like curate really good inventory for you all um to like show off to you all too um so yeah i'm really excited about these products that i've been making this is one of the scrunchies very cute it's like a china silk um i got this second hand um what i do is i take one of these pieces that i cut out um, i put it through the scrunchie and then like fold it over so it looks like that and then i'll just staple the top It looks like that. My branding's everywhere. It's like there, there, 
Last year I was a little self-conscious about it, but now I'm like, no, it looks good. This is another color that I worked on. I started making mini scrunchies, or not mini, these are actually like, I guess normal size scrunchies. They're a little bigger than normal size, but I figured some people may not be into like the ginormous ones. So this one's just like kind of regular sized. And I think it's cute. I did want to mention that that new product that I was like low-key teasing in a previous clip, I was actually talking about little quilted makeup pouches or like travel pouches. I've been seeing them everywhere and I've always loved little things like this. Um, and I think the quilted pattern looks really cute. I'll put a picture like somewhere. But they seem pretty easy to make based off of videos that I've seen and I think I could definitely find some thrifted bed sheets with really pretty patterns um, to like repurpose into those like pouches. So I think that's going to be my next thing. If I'm able to go to the thrift store in the next like couple days, I may even like add those products in with this pop-up that I'm working on. Pop-up's actually not for another 11 days, so I have some time, but... You know, I don't want to be rushing anything and I want to perfect the pattern and everything. So we'll see, but that's my idea. Let me know what you think about it. And that's all I got for now. Good morning, it is the next day, it's Thursday, and I'm in a pretty good mood. It is so hot outside, it's a solid, I think like 86 degrees outside today, which is the first like 80s kind of day we've had here in Jersey, so it's feeling good, it's like a little hot. I'm gonna have to put my AC in here. I don't know if you guys remember, but like, I normally have an AC in that window and we take it out in the winter, just cause the draft ends up making the room cold in the winters. Um, so that's on the to-do list today. That's why everything is literally behind me because I needed to move everything away from the window. Um, so that's happening. I still have my massive bug bite that's changing the way my jaw looks and I don't like it, but I'm just gonna keep that there. Today on the agenda, we are still making pop-up shop items. <laughs> um, I just ordered a bunch of materials for that new product that I wanted to make it's basically a quilted pouch like makeup bag pouch that i have like talked about i think yesterday i ordered the quilting um what's it called batting that's what it's called so it's basically this like foam almost type material it's just like the stuff that's in between the fabric um in a quilt and the makeup pouches that i'm trying to make are like quilted so i got that from wawak i never really knew how to pronounce this but it's wawak.com i'll put them below they're great and they're basically one or two day shipping at least where i live everything arrives literally the next day or sometimes like two days later which is still incredible um and they have a bunch of sewing products like all the things they sell are just like sewing and it's basically amazon for seamstresses so i got the fusible fleece batting polyester interfacing that's coming in tomorrow. I also got a bunch of zippers because um, I wanted specific types of zippers. I basically only have invisible zippers like here in my crafting room, but I wanted like the bag zippers. And then last but not least, I got some quilting needles because I don't know like if you actually need quilting needles to work with the interfacing um, and with like thick fabrics. I feel like you would need something more sturdy than a regular needle, um, but I just got that just in case it was really cheap. I think it was like three bucks. As for today here in my crafting room, I'm going to be using my serger a lot because I have some more tote bags that I need to make. Last night you saw that I was serging um, a bunch of the tote bags together and I need to finish those up today. Those were all like in the bag that I said I keep a bunch of my unfinished products in and it feels so good to like have that bag emptied and to just like have the products done. Um, so I feel very productive. Anyway, let's get surging.
Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. I'm doing a little eye mask here, and we're officially 10 days, I believe, or nine days away from the first pop-up shop of 2023. Very excited, feel very prepared. Um, as you've seen, like, through this vlog, I've just been, like, making things. Um, I think I'm going to split this, like, preparation video into two parts, um, because I still have a lot more to do, um, and I have another full week ahead of me of, like, preparing, um, but I also feel like this video is getting kind of long, so stay tuned for a part two of this video. But yeah, I basically kept working on these tote bags all of yesterday. Um, I've been putting the little, like, Monica's tags on them, I've been putting the straps on them, and just, like, perfecting them as much as I can. I didn't get a chance to go to the thrift store yesterday, so I might do that today to get some fabric for those makeup pouches, but I do want to say that all of these can that I've done look so freaking good. Um, I'm so excited to place these on a table and see what they look like at the pop-up shop, but like all together they look so colorful and very spring themed. So I'm excited for those. I have my one bin packed up with a whole bunch of stuff. These are a bunch of candles that I already had done, um, hangers, bags, like shopping bags and also some of the tote bags that were already finished. And here I actually have some fabrics that I want to make scrunchies with. So these are a china silk. Actually, this is just like a regular satin, but those are china silks. And I thought they would match the candles really well because they're bright colors, they're very spring. Um, so I want to, I've like had these for a while now. Just haven't had a chance to make things. So I also want to cut out some strips of fabric for scrunchies with those. These are the handles of the tote bags so they're just chilling here until i can attach them and my desk is a mess as always but that's what happens when you're crafting all day every day also my order from wawak came in literally so fast less than 24 hours shipping i feel like um i just like can't believe how quickly i got i literally ordered those stuff yesterday middle of the day i'll do an unboxing for you all I did not expect it to be this large. I guess I didn't really like know how big five yards by 45 inches was, but this is like a good amount. And for the price I paid, good deal. So I got some quilting needles because I wanna use um, some cotton fabric or maybe linen fabric and this batting to make those um, makeup pouches. And then for the pouches, I'll need zippers. So I thought these would be good. I hope these are long enough. I feel like they are. I got a few neutral colors because that's like what I'm going for. I love that the zippers are large because I hate when you can't really grab onto the zipper just because like the pulley thing is too little. These are the colors I got and I love them. I'll link the ones that I got below in case you're interested as well as this because a really good deal all right so i do need to go to the thrift store to get fabric for those pouches i don't actually have any fabric that i want to use um right now like in my own crafting room um so i'm going to have to go get some i'm going to split this video into two different parts because i feel like this one's getting pretty long and i still have another i think like nine ish days until the pop-up shop there's a lot more preparation ahead of me um so i think i'm going to start a new vlog um because this one's getting a little too long so thank you for watching this one watch part two, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.